How's it going everyone? Bob here, KD4 BMG HOA Ham. The plan originally was to get to US 1880 Honeymoon Island State Park and show you my mini form factor setup on a picnic table that used to be right over there before the hurricanes of last season. I haven't been to the park that much, so I wasn't aware that uh, the hurricanes had taken away some of the picnic tables. You can't really come outside a whole lot here at the beach you know, in uh, June, July, and August. I know some of you do, I don't. So we're gonna have to use the back of the truck as the setup for the mini gable setups. I'm using the gable bag, and all I'm trying to do is show you a really small form factor setup with my FX4CR uh, gable 7350, either T or TC antenna, which is a coil. And instead of using their stainless width that comes with it we're going to use carbon fiber so we're going to do a carbon fiber poda activation yes the wind is blowing you're likely going to get some wind noise hopefully it's a minimum let's get this all unwrapped and start calling cq poda <laughs> And yes, you can also wrap up here and coil up some uh, coax. And as long as you wrap it in here good, you do not have any issues. So I packed this weeks ago. Let's hope that everything is still here. Radials, SWR meter, microphone. Uh, are we going to use this? We'll see. Power cord. And in this one little pouch here it goes in by velcro this is where my coil is this bag can be adapted all of these bags come off individually so you have a lot of flexibility on what you put in here here's the coil man i'm getting a lot of wind noise and i'm afraid you are too i have my back to where most of the wind is coming from so hopefully you're not getting too much here's our coil here's the flimsy antenna that comes with it we've been using those for years not today we're going to go CQ Poda with carbon fiber. So this carbon fiber whip, I don't know that it's resonant on any band. I do have a 17 foot or just shy of 17 foot with me. That's a quarter wave 20. This one in particular would go on top of my 7350 T. Uh, it's got an M10-1. You can get an adapter. It comes with an adapter to go 3 8 by 24. But you could use this on any coil antenna. And one of the first things you need to realize is this is an all-or-nothing solution. So you either get all of the antenna or none of the antenna. So even with the quarter wave 20, you're not going to collapse sections to get on higher frequencies. You have to understand how to use this as an all-or-nothing solution you're going to get all of your different bands by maybe going half wave or five eighths wave or three quarters wave on some of the higher bands using this setup. So still rambling and uh, got to get the rest of the equipment out here. Like I said, I packed this a couple of weeks ago and life got in the way and I have forgotten what I had with me for a tripod. I was going for mini setup there is my battery. Here's my FX4CR. Here is my mini tripod. Now I know what I'm doing. And shoot. That is SO239. And what do I have with me for coax? <laughs> BNC. <laughs> Pivot. <laughs> so I was expecting maybe to have to go ground spike. And that's not going to work for me. Oh boy, what did I just do to myself? <laughs> Hughes. Okay, what am I thinking? I don't have an adapter. Or do, do I have an adapter maybe? You know what? I'll better have an adapter. Instead, I did this weeks ago. I got an adapter. <laughs> Whew. All right, good deal. So I think we're going to go with the, we're going to go, I'm half tempted to try to operate here on the back of my truck. This is an aluminum slatted bed. 
let's see if by some dumb chance it operates more like a ground plane instead of absorbing my signal. Otherwise, we'll just go out here on the sand. All right, so now we're in good shape. So see what I have here is just this tiny little tripod. And this is from uh, the tripods from Amazon. It's a carbon fiber tripod. Ow! This is from uh, one of Gable's kits. And it's got a quarter 20 on the bottom. That's how I get on the tripod. And now I can convert over to BNC. All right, we're good. So this means... I have, the wrong, I have the wrong coil. This just keeps getting better and better and better. All right. Second pivot. I really have no clue if this is going to work. So I put a 3 8 by 24 right here. I'll snap a photograph so you can get a close-up of it. I put this over here for when I was doing my videos on the... Um, the new carbon fiber masks that Chameleon, Chameleon just introduced. And look at that. Okay, that was not at all what I was thinking to do. And now I've got 3 8 by 24 for my coil. And then that's going to allow me to get my fiberglass whip on top of that. All right, so here we are, Poda. I have changed directions, what, three or four times so far? These are just like a mast. You pull and twist, and you don't have to go nuts with this. And it's light enough that I can just go right on top of my coil. Now I'm really concerned. You know, I don't have a lot of options for setting this up. If this doesn't work, if my truck starts absorbing all of my signal, but guess what? We're going to roll with it, and everything else can kind of get put away because I don't have all the right adapters. So I did do all of this work, like I said, weeks ago, and I probably should have checked the day before I came out. So I don't need this because I can go right into my radial puck. So let's just put everything away that I don't need. Clear off the space. And I'm going to keep this adapter out in case I decide to put the quarter wave 20 carbon fiber, and this will get me from uh, the base of that 17 foot whip. It's a shy, couple inches shy of 17 feet. I'm gonna put that in my pocket so we have that. If I choose to go that direction, and I think we're done with the pivots for now. All right, I'm gonna stop the video for just a couple of minutes, make sure that the sound is coming through okay because I'm getting a lot of wind, and if I have too much wind, well, that was a rough start to that carbon fiber POTA activation. So I am here in the shack a few days later. I just want to show you what I was trying to demonstrate. And of course, I was just starting with Gable's small form factor go bag that has multiple inner pouches that can be added and removed with Velcro. And that is incredibly versatile and helpful. I was really trying to show small form factor with some gable gear to go along with my FX4CR. And of course, I also had my Shargeek battery because it will not only power my radio with this barrel connector where I can dial in the voltage that my radio wants, but I can also power my cameras and phones and then I had my radial. So it was all small form factor, and I was demonstrating that I didn't want to use this whip. And we've been using these for years, but they are rather flimsy, fragile, and we still use them. I wanted to show what it would be like to use the carbon fiber whip. And then I wanted the CF5200, which is a quarter weight 20 meters, because I wanted to jump from this with the coil over to the quarter wave 20. And I'll show you some of those QSOs. But let me just show you real quick what I was trying to demonstrate. Let me get rid of everything here with the exception of the small form factor tripod that I was going for. This is a piece of gable kit and it's the UHF connector and it's got a quarter 20 threaded hole on the bottom. And I use this really small carbon fiber tripod. So my objective was to show you this on a picnic table. So with my 
20 watts, I could sit on one end of the picnic table and have my antenna set up on the other end of the picnic table. And it's just an incredibly small form factor. And then to actually make that work, you know, I needed my UHF antenna. And what I ended up bringing with me was my 3 8 by 24. So nothing worked to plan, but if I would have had my UHF with me, my UHF would have gone on to here. And now you can see that I have a very small form factor antenna, uh, the coil, and then I could put the whip on top. And then this could just sit on the picnic table where I was operating. The Gable carbon fiber antennas come with an adapter that lets us go from M101 to 3 8 by 24 and the top of this is M101. So now all of a sudden what I have is a really small form factor antenna that could let me get on, let's just say, 6 to 40. Right? That's what I can do here with this. I wonder if I can get down to six once I extend this. That I should uh, retract that statement. I'm not exactly certain of that. I'd have to think through that again. But uh, the goal here was to get small form factor. And um, that got taken away from me because I brought the wrong gear. The other thing and other reason why I wanted to show you this is because when I say small form factor, I also think of things like if wind is blowing, you know, what do I have as far as options? You know, can this tiny tripod hold up my antenna? And the answer to that question is, well, because it actually has some leg extensions. Yeah, you can get to the point where with a small form factor antenna, you have a pretty solid base. That's what I was trying to demonstrate. Really tiny gear. And then... Um, you know, if you wanted to get a little bit beyond that, well, you can always put something like the blank adapter on top of this with another adapter. And this is a 1 quarter 20, 3 8 24. And I, you know that I am one of those guys who likes to be minimal. I'm a minimalist, so I always try to operate with small gear. And with this tiny tripod, and something like the blank adapter here again, I could put this one quarter 20 on top of this on the other end of a picnic table. And because this is so lightweight at the top and this is heavyweight, so to speak, at the base, uh, I'm loaded pretty low to the base. And if I had a little bit of wind on a picnic table, I don't think this would have any trouble holding up that quarter wave 20 carbon fiber whip. So I was trying to show you small form factor and that just kind of got blown away because, well, I didn't have all the right parts with me. So maybe the moral of the story is, and what you're learning from this video is, check your Boda bag again and again and again. I packed it weeks ago, life got in the way, and obviously I had put some of the wrong pieces of kit in there. Fortunately, I had enough with me that I could adapt and go anyway. Let's see what the carbon fiber whips did at the beach Poda activation. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo Delta 4, Bravo Mike Golf calling CQ from US 1880, QRZ. Alpha Delta 2, Charlie Delta. Alpha Delta 2, Charlie Delta, you're 59 into US 1880, QSL. 57, QSL. QSL, the 57, thanks friend, 73. Thank you, 73. This is Kilo Delta 4, Bravo Mike Golf, calling CQ Poda from US 1880, QRZ. Whiskey 1, Sierra Alpha Bravo. Whiskey 1, Sierra Alpha Bravo, 59 into US 1880, QSL. QSL on the 5-1, I'll give you like a 4-4, four, 4-4. Four, four, four. Copy the 4-4, four, four. I have you, 59-59, QSL. QSL, thank you very much, you have yourself a great day. Thanks, friend 73. This is Kilo Delta 4, Bravo Mike Golf, calling CQ Poda from US 1880, QRZ. Kilo Yankee 4, Delta Mike Delta. Was that Kilo Yankee 4, Delta Mike Delta? Yeah, I got you 5 5 in Kentucky. Thanks for the 5 5 in Kentucky. I have you 5 9 into US 1880, QSL. Thanks so much, man. 73. Thanks, 73. This is Kilo Delta 4, Bravo Mike Golf, calling CQ from US 1880, QRZ. The wind noise was so bad at this point that you couldn't hear a single word I was saying. 
halfway through the POTA, I decided to switch antennas. The 7350 coil with the short carbon fiber whip did a fantastic job attached to the truck. Now it's time to take the quarter wave 20 meter carbon fiber whip and get it out on the sand and see what kind of contacts we can make with it. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo Delta 4, Bravo Mike Golf calling CQ Poda from US 1880, QRZ. Uh, the Victor Oscar again, please. This is Kilo Papa number 4, Victoria, Ontario Radio. Kilo Papa 4, Victor, Ontario Radio. I have you 5959, Tampa, Florida. Puerto Rico. Thanks for the 5-9, uh, Puerto Rico. Thanks, friend, 73. 73. This is Kilo Delta 4, Bravo Mike Golf, calling CQ Poda from US 1880, QRZ. Kilo 4, Tango, November, Romeo. Kilo 4, Tango, November, Romeo. I have you 5-9, Tampa, Florida. I've got 5-9 and Tango, November. Thanks for the 5-9 in Tennessee, friend, 73. 73. This is Kilo Delta 4, Bravo Mike Golf, calling CQ Poda from US 1880, QRZ. Alpha 8, Delta, and then Papa. Uh, ending in Papa, ending in Papa, again please. Echo Alpha 8, Delta, and then Papa. Uh, Echo Alpha 8, Delta, Quebec, Papa. I have you 5959 into Tampa, Florida. Thank you very much for the five, five, friend. Appreciate the contact, 73. Thank you very much, Echo Alpha A, Delta, Quebec, Papa. Thank you very much, 73. 73, this is Kilo Delta 4, Bravo Mike Golf, calling CQ at US 1880, QRZ. So any day at the beach, away from the office, end of the day, mid 70s, sun shining at the beach with the radio, that's a good day. Thanks for hanging out with me in this activation today with uh, our carbon fiber antennas. So let's just call this the carbon fiber POTA activation. Talk to you soon, friends. 73.